Ryan Buntag, Magandang Umaga. Buenos dias, how are you guys doing today? I just got off work. It's an exciting day because um, my solar koan, manager or boss, my boss for solar, is going to be calling me today and hopefully getting me in touch with uh, another guy who I will be shadowing or following. So I'll be able to video showing that I'm knocking on the doors. If he lets me go knock doors with him, I will gain more experience faster and I might be able to set an appointment, which I can make some money with just setting appointments. One of the guys on the team, he set six appointments and a couple of them closed. And so he got $5,000 or so just from that. And that's about 250,000 pesos. So that's really good on his, that was like his first month. So exciting, exciting stuff. You can do really well with just making, setting appointments online. I'm actually, uh, shout out to Tyler there in Canada. Probably join with me um, by setting appointments, etc. So um, I have a call set up with Chris. Shout out to Chris Kenny and Taylor McCarthy. It's about 7.23 and my my appointment with him, the scheduled call is at 8, so actually I got over 30 minutes, so I'm good to go. Here I am on the interstate, highway, sorry, I'm getting a little tired. It looks like I'm driving through Nevada with this weather. No clouds right now, it looks beautiful. It looks like we're in Arizona or something. Day. It's a great day to have a great day, guys. Remember that it's a great day to have a great day. Look on the positive side as much as possible and have a goal, set a goal, get stuff done, get better every day. For me, I need to get back into my push ups. Even um, the small little things that you do, as long as you tell yourself, hey, just do one push up you're probably gonna do more than that, right? So if you have a schedule to just do one push-up a day, when you're down there, you're gonna be like, you know what, I can just do one more. And so you do 10. And then maybe you'll max out, maybe you'll do 20, 30, 40, however many you can do. So, let's see here. I'm gonna get home at a good time because I'm driving like a Floridian. Well, I'm, I'm noticing there's no mountains like there is in the great northwest which you can't see mountains if you guys remember when me and the kids visited grandpa my grandpa um, there in washington state there was mountains all over the place and beautiful big trees so that'd be really great to go back there sometime with the whole family when they're all over here so that's what's really driving me guys i want to make sure all the kids mommy everyone over there is taken care of we're gonna get tiles over there in the house etc um, I think at least after I don't know depending on how fast I close this I'm already catching up on everything here so really excited um, poor Brayden has the chicken pox <laughs> but and then mommy uh, had the guys clean the, the kitchen and like the the stains that were on the ceiling from Typhoon Odette and the place is looking a lot better, especially with um, the extra hands on deck. We got Edwina and baby Nigel over there. Even baby Nigel's cleaning, so good to hear from them. Okay, just jumped out of the shower, guys. And actually, before I even got in the shower, I gotta talk to Chris, who's my manager boss there in Miami. Miami. So right now it is 8.22 in the morning. I'm gonna wait for him to send me the stuff I need. So I'm gonna need a um, location, they call it turf, which is like the area that you're go knocking. And he, he said 20 or 25 doors today, if I could do. And all I need to do later is go back and print off some stuff, which I did, 
I spent $40 the other time, uh, Office Depot. I don't think I even uploaded that. I was taking some video there. Yeah. Finished. That's how much it costs. And um, it was week one of the course, so I have it right here. I was showing it. It's like this stuff, it's like, you know, I don't know, I spent a little too much on it, but I should have bought like ink and put it in the printer as I was found out afterwards. I didn't know it was gonna be so much because I'm so used to Filipino prices. In the Philippines, it's much cheaper to print that much. Um, anyway, so that was like $40 worth of material there. So what I'm gonna do is print off this, some of the same things in a bigger um, piece of paper. Probably just gonna use this later. So I have that to talk to the customer with and show them apples to apples comparison of why they should check out solar or learn more about it as we can sit down and talk about it with my higher up. So that's another thing that my boss told me is giving me the number to Damon and we should meet him if he's not camera shy. But right now he's got some dogs he's taking care of because they just had a litter of puppies. So I'll be meeting or calling with Damon, but he's busy with the doggies and his family. So I'll be meeting him this next week, like Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Maybe, maybe Wednesday, actually. Um, Monday, Tuesday, I have with my solar boss, we'll call him Chris, the solar boss, um, a more in-depth rundown on how to present a presentation and go through all the paperwork with the client or um, person we're helping out with solar. Uh, let's see. So that's really it. I'm going to probably sleep, wake up later, and, and then get on the door. So... Um, I'll go to Office Depot again and just suffer whatever I have to pay to get some printouts. Or wait, sorry, I might just print off here a bigger copy on Tom's and then just buy ink later. Because um, let's see, today is the today is the what was it? Eighth, seventh. Okay, today is October seventh, and I get paid from this other job, the security position, on the twelfth. So it's like. Every two weeks I get paid from there. It's gonna be solar here soon, so young yeah, guys. Uh let's see. I'll see you guys later. Okay, capoeco. Um toloco. Peace. Alright you guys. Let's see come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no! He's in my car. No 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 no. Don't go in there. Shh. Shoot, no, there's an iguana. Oh my god, the iguana's in my car. No. Hold on a second. Oh god, he's in there. Oh no. That's Florida. Dude, are you serious? You need to get out of there. Damn. Okay, so there's a dinosaur in my engine and I need something to poke there. My engine's so hot. How is he in there? I literally just got done driving. Where's something to poke my... Mm, pencil? Still gonna reach. What am I gonna do? Here we go. Get out of there. Oh my god. Oh no.
I guess he's just gonna have to go on a trip as I gotta go. Hi guys, yes, yeah, so basically there is an iguana inside my car right now. I'm waiting for him to get out, see if I can see him get out. I'm trying to shake it a little bit, I'm like moving the car. It's moving the car a little bit like that and trying to get him out of here because I need to go door knocking for solar. I'm gonna go preach to the solar gods and tell everyone about solar and um, the company I work with. So basically it's not pushing, it's just more on like, hey, would you learn, want, wanna learn more about solar and all the benefits because Ron DeSantis, our governor here, he just vetoed a bill um, in turn, which is really good for solar. So they're not getting rid of the uh, net metering, et cetera and um, t talk about how the power company's been going up and and um, hear back from them if they agree. And I'm sure they're gonna be like, yeah, the power bill has been expensive here because it was for me even back in 2022 and it's increased. Um, I don't know, they're paying like 500 at my house for a little bit. So we'll have to see because they have more people than we did, but I wasn't using much electricity at my house there. Um, we had like a three or four hundred dollar bill or something like that because our house is big so that and the air conditioning had to work extra hard and on top of that we got the air conditioning replaced if you guys didn't know i spent over eight thousand dollars on the air conditioning and then i spent three thousand six hundred or about four thousand and i still need to spend more on the new deep well so it was a good twelve thousand like five over five hundred thousand pesos i had to spend on the house and then uh yeah so i'm working the second job here solar and I'm gonna record myself knocking. So let's see how I do my first ever door, as long as this iguana gets out of my car. That's like the most Florida thing ever. But yeah, here we go guys, let's get started. I need to practice and I just, I'm just i scared. I'm, I've got fear to knock on doors and talk to people and, and it's brand new to me, but I really love solar and I'm gonna be excited to share it because it's a really good situation for people. All right, see you guys at the doors. All right guys. I'm about to knock on my first door. I don't have my tripod, but I'm gonna like prop my phone up when I can. I should have brought my second phone so I can use it and stuff, but I'll just get a little bit of footage for me to look over for myself so I can better myself on the next doors. But yeah, the highway's right over there. And right over here is my zone. So I'm gonna knock on this turf right now. All right, all right, Michael, Donald, Jesse, here we go. Let's see if they're even home. Hey, folks. Hello. Yeah. Hey, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm um, sorry. I was. Um, I'm Brian. Um, yep. I was just about um, the notice for the net metering. The did you hear about the new mandate? No. Um, the veto bill by DeSantis. No. Basically, it's it's basically like we're getting all of our power from out of state. Yeah. And uh, I don't, I, you know, I got to go, but uh, it's about like solar. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you can save a lot of money on your electric bill, cut like 25% off. Actually, my first door I ever knocked, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still, I'm still um, fresh off, but I really believe in this, um, in the projects. Um, but basically, there's six billion, like, going into the hurricane um yeah. repairs and everything right so um fpl and everyone's spending a lot on that to repair the all the infrastructure yeah yeah um and then um also on the natural gas so basically all we do is we come out so <clears throat> with the metering we check out the meters and yeah. then uh Wow, that was a really cool customer. I don't know if I recorded all that. It kind of turned off, but I freaked out, man. I freaked out. And he gave me permission to come back here really fast. And uh... <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna go inside here and check the meter. All right. My first time ever checking the meter. I think this will be it. 250. Maybe it's this one. Bruh. Well, guys, it looks like it's gonna possibly rain here soon. Um, but yeah, I talked to one of the homeowners over there 
and it was hilarious like my first ever like i was like uh, i was like a deer in headlights conversations after that talking to different homeowners i only had a couple it looks like it's gonna come in here and then i got to work tonight but it was a good like just um how do you say it? to break the ice into solar you know i just broke the ice and i feel better you know it was tough my first ever one right there but i'm so lucky i ran into ryan because he was so mellow and so understanding and he he just saw me going going uh uh, uh. <laughs> Woo. yeah that was it was exciting so um i need to push myself earlier and more because really happy to get a little bit of time in on the doors get my first knocks get my first no get my first get the get the fuck out of here off my porch <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's great being back here in America. Dealing with Americans, man. So I was knocking, I had really nice people all until one. One guy was just, I could hear them putting their like spoon down on their plate like they were just sitting down the dinner. They were at the dinner table. Um, she comes to the door and I start talking. I said my pitch. I said, you know, did you guys see the how Ron DeSantis vetoed the bill, the H the HB 741 bill um, about the net metering. And then so the, the husband or whoever that guy was, uh, maybe the, I don't dad, I don't know, some older guy <laughs> with a beard came charging. He's like, you know, we don't give a f about that. And you need to get, get, out, get the f out of here. And he like kind of charged at me and like came out and then she grabbed him and brought him back. Like, and she was like, I'm sorry about that. I was like, all right, have a good one. <laughs> And then I was at the neighbor right next to him. I went to the neighbors right next. I was like, okay, next door, right? Got to keep going. And I was at the neighbor and he comes out the side of his house with his dog all chilled out. Once I'm like, he sees I'm taller than him or whatever. He like calmed down. He calmed himself down. Like, I would, like since it's my first time, I don't have every retort. I can't say exactly what I want to say there on the spot yet. But I would have told him now in hindsight, be like, hey man, you know, all you could do is just treat me like a human being. I was just seeing if you wanted solar. <laughs> and then another lady, once I mentioned the governor, once you talk about politics, people get a little bit flustered or get irritated or it's either good or bad, you know? So yeah, guys, I just got back from my first ever the plunge, breaking the ice, or whatever you want to call it, getting kicked in the nuts by these crazy homeowners. But you know what it is, guys? What it is about sales and selling something to someone, you know, or showing, right now we're, like, I'm at a service. I'm a servant or service because I just want to educate them and it's up to them to make the choice. What I'm just saying is that the one of the key things to sales in general is about timing because you never know what's going on in that person's life, whether a good good or bad person, et cetera. Um, even someone that's not normally ha willing to talk about something, if they're having a good day, maybe they'd come out of their shell and talk about it. But to flip it, I'm really happy about what happened today because I came out of my shell. It was hard for me. There was fear. Like you guys might be like, "Oh, Brian, he he's got this. He's going to he's going to kill it. He's going to do well." I mean, I am, but in my my thought process and everything, I have anxiety and everything. So, I worry too much, guys. I worry about what people are thinking of me. Like, "Oh, do they think I look good?" This is not I used to worry about that all the time. Maybe not right now. And my hands weren't too sweaty after the initial first one. So, shout out Ryan for being so nice to me on my very first knock but then as i kept knocking on some doors i found the other ones that were so you're like get out of here i don't give up with the, about politics get out of here and then the daughter like swung him around and said dad shut up go go eat your dinner <laughs> it was so awkward because i was as i was saying um in the car is i don't know if i cut that out or not as i was saying um I was walking right past the guy who was like, get out of here. And the next door, I was standing there like messing with my phone, trying to get everything right because there's a map and I can put whose house I saw already. So I was standing out there for a while. He comes, the same guy who just yelled at me, comes with his dog outside. <laughs> 
And he walks right by me. I'm like standing right by him. I'm like, have a good one. He's like, you too. So it's really catching someone when like, maybe he's just upset. Maybe he was hungry. He just got back from work. It's Saturday. People still are working Saturday. So, um, you know what I, I wish I did in hindsight is I wish I struck a conversation with him to see if I could possibly be like, you know, like, Hey, um, sorry about that. I mean, to bother you, like I wasn't trying to push politics on you and then wait for him to respond and be like, see if he was going to engage me in that conversation and to be like, you know what? Yeah. Um, sorry about that or something. So I'd be like, yeah, all I was going to say is da, 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 da. I want to say what I'm doing there. Like, um, I'm showing a comparison between solar bill and your bill. And all we need is your bill. We could take a picture of it and we'll send you a, um, engineered report of exactly how much you would save. And it's that simple. So I, that's one thing I wish I did different, but otherwise everything else, well, besides, I wish I kept going a little bit further, but it looked like it was going to rain and I got to go to work here tonight. So <laughs> I got the two jobs. So I'll be walking in the hot sun and then I'll be up all night. I'll sleep until like from seven in the morning or, se or maybe eight in the morning till one or 2 PM. And then boom, I'll be knocking on doors. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm working really hard. I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to um, get more experience on the doors so that I can do Zoom calls, I can do this and that. I don't even have to be knocking doors because I plan to have this all online eventually. As you guys know, I'm computer science and I do all this computer stuff, right? So I plan to eventually have this all like not automated, but it's going to be almost automated to be honest. It's my plan. I have some things in the works. We'll see how well this goes. If you guys want solar here in Florida, just holler at your boy. But yeah, if you're here in the Florida area and you're looking to get a new roof, there's actually, you can get a tax exemption to um, basically get a new roof and the solar in, a, in the same bill. So you have a small monthly bill, you have a brand new roof and you have solar. Just text me if you're interested, you wanna know more here in Florida. Anyone in Florida, shout out to you guys. I'm sorry if you're out of state. Um, I'll let you know if I can help you later on. But right now I'm solely focused on Florida. If you need a new roof or solar, etc., windows, I'm pretty sure we offer that too. Uh, but I'm so new and uh, quality products, five star rating around, around Florida. Oh, my arm. And a 4.8 um, star reviews. So, a really great company. Um, top three in the state. So, yeah. Holler at your boy. Just um, please don't call me because I will not be answering calls. Just text me. How about that? Just text me at 206. 661-4544, just text me, um, buy, buy solar or want to know more about solar and I'll send you guys information or if you guys send me your FPL bill or your power bill, I can get started right on, right away and give you guys a free diagram and show you guys what you could be saving. All right, that's it guys. Salama sa pagtanaw. Ayaw kalimo ko on pislita og. Subscribe button og. Like button. Salama sa pagtanaw guys. As always, makita kita ta sa sonong na video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.